be reviewing another synthetic wig. You guys know that I love to review my synthetic wigs here and there. This video does come courtesy of Sam's Beauty. Um, and this one I chose is by the brand Magic Lace. And this is a U-shaped wig. And what's really cool about the U-shaped wigs is... And if you see right here, it says extra large because they give you a huge U-shape extra large parting space um it almost reminds you of a four by four um i don't think it says the dimensions on here so we'll see what it looks and feels like in person um but this is a silk base lace part hand tied lace closure u-shaped wig um it's heat iron safe up to 360 degrees the item is mlu09 you guys hear my kids are going crazy. Um, the style is Magic U Shape Lace Wig 09 in the color 1B. So, this is going to be a beautiful, super long wig. Kind of resembles a body wave, which is what I have in my hair. And that's kind of what I wanted. This is real body wave, which, shameless plug, I do have the link for this review in the description bar. But I wanted to find some synthetic wigs that would kind of mimic this texture. I am full aware that we don't always have the coin to purchase two, three, four, five bundles and a frontal or a closure. So sometimes it's really good to have those go-to wigs that you know, like if you're in a bind and you um, really don't have the money to spend on your human hair bundles, that you can find something at the beauty supply store or, you know, online real quick for 30, 40 bucks and kind of resemble that look and kind of hold you over until, you know, you get paid or something and you can get your life with some real hair bundles. So this is that beautiful U-shaped party that I was talking about that's extra large. This is very reminiscent of probably about 4x4 parting. It may be a 3 by 3 but I think it's going to look really nice considering that it is a lace wig. There is a lace around the hairline. As you can see there, so you'll be able to cut it up a little bit, make a little baby hair, make it even look even more um, realistic or at least like a human hair wig. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this excess lace. And if I forgot to show you guys, this is what the texture of the hair looks like on the wig. It appears to be very full. It has a nice sheen to it. Hopefully it's not too shiny. Um, and it is... It's not a silky texture, but it's not a yakky, like super yakky texture. Nice, soft yakky. So if you were able to like pull out some hair in the front or something like that, I think it would blend pretty well with some pressed hair. Um, it feels super soft to the touch. And again, it is a 1B. So let's go ahead and adjust the straps. Um, in the inside, I forgot to mention that there are two combs in the front. There's also one in the back as well as some adjustable straps. So let's go ahead and put this baby on. So I just put her on and off the bat. It's looking like, uh, no, definitely 32 inches. It is super long. It's not heavy. Um, and the actual texture of the hair feels super soft. When you put it on, this is exactly how it lays. So you have to decide what you want to do. Um, you probably, excuse my um, hair, I just did another review, so I have a little bit of um, gel. But, like literally when you first put it on, this is how it lays. It's super dense. So I'm going to go ahead and style it and see what I come up with. And then I will be back. this y'all this is that same wig this is a synthetic wig I've officially found the most finessing ass wig of all time you cannot tell me this isn't a virgin human hair wig like if I walked out of the house in this and I carried myself popping per you which you would not be able to tell me that this wasn't a real wig. You would not be able to tell me this wasn't virgin hair bundles. The only thing I would do is add an elastic band because I do feel like it slides 
back on my head a little bit even though the straps are adjusted to the tightest that they can go but again this wig is 32 inches I probably also would take my shears and thin it out just a little bit I don't feel like it's heavy um, in weight but because it's long and full um, you really can't get around that so all I did was I just pulled out a little bit of hair and made it some baby hair um, I used my Hicks edge control and with this texture of hair it just won't seem to stay laid down so as you can see it's already moving but every two seconds it's been a while since I did the intro and every two seconds I feel like it kind of moves a little bit so um, all I did was I just kind of parted it and twisted it in the back um, I definitely would take my time and make sure that the parting is exposed much better if I were to wear this out just to give it an even more um, realistic illusion um, after I combed it out I did get a little bit of tangling not too crazy where I was sitting there stuck it's just you know it's a synthetic wig so when you go around especially since it's long and full you will you know get snacks here and there so when I got a snack I just was able to hold it and work through it and get it through um, after that it kind of did get a little bit more poofy because again it is long and super full so um, basically I just proceeded to style it twist you know do my signature to twist back pin it back and then after that it was really fluffy it was really pretty but it was big so I just went ahead and added some water and sprayed it all the way down so that it can revert to its natural wave and it pretty much did so I really really love this wig let me show you the texture after it's been combed out and styled from the back this wig is like the finesse wig of all time like if I wanted to be like an Instagram popping person influencer and I didn't have a lot of money like you could put on some press on nails and a wig like this do your little baby hair take your time make the parting pop and put a little powder in there um, and you could style it in so many ways especially because it has that nice you parting you can do so many things and this is one of those ones that is super versatile you can even like tweeze the hairline and make it look a little bit more natural now this is um i would say about three by four like it goes from like here to about right here it could be like four by four i'm a little off i have it a little bit twisted but it's about four by four i would say so you can do pretty much anything that you would do with your natural um or your normal um lace wig that you would use a four by four lace closure with and you can just make it look natural so go get you a little cheap synthetic wig like this put on some fake press on nails get on snapchat and do a poppin ass filter and you are gonna look like the poppin instagram baddie literally on a budget so I highly highly recommend this for those of us that are on a budget and kind of want to keep it cute and yeah I definitely love this one this is definitely a must-have I rarely say that about synthetic wigs but this is one of the ones that I would always keep one on a deck for those rainy days when we can't get to the real bundles so I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick show and tell, but that's about it. So make sure you check the description bar for a link to this beauty right here so that you can catfish all the people on the IG for the low. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.